Welcome to Combat Sambo Tape number five. And this tape, in my opinion, is the best tape in the series because this is pure Sambo. Sambo is a machine gun effect. We're going to go from arm to leg, knee, ankle, back, neck, uh, eye pokes hit. It's a massive machine gunning effect. Um, you cannot understand this tape without the previous tapes, but I think you're going to really enjoy this. Okay, in the previous tapes, we learned some basic locks. What we're going to do now is put them in a combination. Just like in the street, you know, he's not going to throw a punch. You're going to block, punch one, all the fights are wrong. And the same idea, in the street, if you're in a no-holds bar tournament or something, you can take forever to win if there's not a time limit. In the street, you want to get rid of your opponent as fast as possible. So you're going to throw tons and tons and tons and tons of combinations because he might have a buddy that comes in and uh, attacks you. Okay. The takedown is learned in a previous tape, but once we hit the ground, everything I'm going to do is things that you've been taught already. But you're just going to know how I'm just going to flow. Now every time Tommy taps, tap where you want, okay? So every time he taps, that means something is getting broken. Okay? So we'll start. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Now, you roll back, don't roll back this, go flat, but you'll break his arm, go flat. Bend it, roll back. Okay. That's combo number one.
Okay, we're going to do the combination from the other side, all right? Again, we're going to start from the takedown that you need to get from the tape, and once we hit the ground, I'm going to go through my combo. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. from the other side. Okay, when I did the combo fast, it was at one-third speed. Um, I can't go full speed because I'll hurt him, no matter how much we work together. So that was one-third speed. Multiply by three, that's a tournament, that's a street fight. Okay, I'm gonna take him a little low. This, this is done in a later tape. You gotta buy all the tapes, okay, to make all this make sense to you. I'm gonna take him down. I'm gonna land here. Now in this position, ladies like this. If he brings his leg up, I'm gonna catch it like this. I'm going to do first one of the leg break by turning into him. Remember this leg break? It was in the previous tape. And I can reach back here and break it this way. So in other words, move on this way, Tom. I'm breaking like this. Okay, now, a lot of people what they'll do is they'll bend their leg here so you don't hurt the knee. No problem. Remember, any way he moves, I'm going to hurt him. This lock here, which you learned in the previous tape. This lock, from the previous tape. Put the foot down on the ground and press down the knee. You're breaking it also. Any way he moves, you're gonna break it. He moves the leg over here. Puts it on the ground. No problem. We have another ankle lock. Again, we have another ankle lock. If he, if he tries to put it up straight, remember the bones here, remember this here? Taught in the previous tape. Okay? If, he t if his leg is up, here, push down. Turn this way, Tom. That way, please. Keep going. There you go. Okay, on your back, please. Okay, from this position, here and here. Okay, that also breaks him. 
Now, we can roll this way or roll that way, depending on his body. If he goes towards me, I roll with him. See what I'm doing? Now, from here, look at this. Tommy, go this way, please. Come towards me. Keep going. Again, a lot of things are happening here. Look. Okay, this one here, catching here. Again, we're putting pain on the ankle. We let go here, we come to here. Pain in the ankle and knee. Pain in the ankle and knee. Okay, grabbing the head. Go over here, Tom. Okay, right here. Do a little neck damage. And he'll give you his neck because you're damaging his leg. Remember, everything wants to be connected. You can come over here, you can bring him sideways. His arm is there. Very good. Remember this technique? Nice previous technique. He's tired of getting his arms broken. He brings his arms together. In this position, I'm going to let go of the leg, though I would hold it in a fight. I'm going to let go of the net leg because as I'm doing this, I'm now damaging it. Here to here. To here to here. Okay? We had that in a previous tape. Putting your hands in here. We had that in a previous tape. Coming all the way down to here. Neck. Okay? Getting him up here across the nose. These are techniques from other tapes. He lifts his hips up. I slide my heels and go sideways, tummy, please. There we go, this one, there we go. Okay, hook him in. Okay, again, you can do damage. Yeah. Pressing down, okay? Shoving his nose. He's gonna try to roll. He rolls back. Okay, put your feet this way, please. If he has a D, move that way, please, Tommy. If he has a D, I recommend him grabbing here. If not, you can grab like this. Okay. A lot of times he'll reach back for you. Okay. All you're going to do is bring your arm around like this. I showed this before in another tape. Elbow here. Be very brutal. Extremely brutal. Okay. Again here. Here. Choke. Okay. We did the choke. All right. He's going to go this way. Turning him like this. Okay. He goes flat. So he's tired of getting beaten up flat. So he's going to go here on his back. Turn over here. The previous tape. Remember the previous tape? The previous tape through punch. Grabbed here, dropped the elbow. Very good. He throws another arm. He tries to hit you with it. Very good. Okay, he lifts up to push you. Break. Down. Okay? We did a, we did a wrist lock in a lighter tape. Here. Spin. To this position. Arm break. Okay, he bends his arm to try to get away. Before he locks it, before he locks it, wrist lock. He locks it. No problem. Remember, we did this in another tape. Grabbing here and rotating here. We did this in the previous tape. Very good. Okay, going over here. You can go here and here. Previous tape. Hit him as you go back if you want to. Grabbing the far arm, pulling it towards you. Break it. Another tape. Coming here, heel kick him. Turn this way, please. And I really, really love this one. Go back that way, please. Yeah, yeah. I love this one. Put it right here. Now, in the street, you would have your legs like this. In the street, you would have your legs like this. I am not doing that because I'm going to hurt him. So, this leg would obviously be here. I'm going to slam him into the cement. Boom! Very nice. Coming over here, I'm going to kick through. And this works in a, really well on a big, strong guy. And break it that way. I'm going to pull forward. Hook my ankles, turn sideways. Now that one I didn't show in the previous tape, but look at this. All I'm doing, excuse me, get up Tommy, please. All I'm doing is moving this way. Okay, it's a very good break. So that's, all right? But the idea is, don't have the person, don't look for one lock. If my arm is straight, don't try to bend it to do an arm lock. If it's straight, break it there. If it's bent, break it there. If it's here, break it where it's, where it is, from here. He turned his thumb before his thumb was down. See his thumb is down, so I'm going to break it this way. He turns this way. In other words, I tried to break it like this, I'm sorry, with his thumb down. And in this position, he turns his thumb away. No problem. I'll break it this way. He turns his thumb down. Remember four? He goes back to down. Okay. And we don't have time to do this. Because our legs are here. Just go flat on your stomach. 
and push your pelvis down. So, excuse me, Tommy, I'm sorry. So we went where his elbow was here, okay, and his thumb was down, and we did this number. So he turns his thumb from this position to that position. No problem. We're going to break it this way. He goes back down. Just roll over, lift up, and break it this way. Okay? All right. So, okay. And then from this position, he wants, he starts to move it back. Just kneel here in this position here. He's, he's trying to move his arm back, okay? Now, grab his eyes here. Just sit here. Be very careful. Break. Break. Now, we're going to roll backwards. Do not roll backwards from this position. Let me repeat. Do not roll backwards from this position because you will break his shoulder. What you need to do is bend his arm for him, and you can pretend, okay, in a straight, roll back, break it. Okay, but fine. Let's say, in your mind, to practice, he bends his arm. No problem. Just roll back like this. See it right now? Okay, so. Move over this way, please, sir. Okay, now from this position again, he's bent, fine. Go back to a wrist lock. Go back to attacking the nerves here, which we showed in the tape. Okay, good. Okay, now, this guy's got real strong arms. I'm gonna have to go back this way over here, please, sir. Come around this way, sir. Okay. <clears throat> he's got real, he's a big, big, strong guy. So you're not having much success, but big, strong guys, their ankles are great. Just move this knee to here. See this knee? Move it right to here. Or he's beginning to move towards you. He's real strong. Fine. Put your knee there. In other words, he's beginning to get out of the arm. Put your knee there. Reach over here and grab the ankle. Notice the move. Okay? See that? Right from here. Okay? Move it this way. A little bit of pain. And look what we got right here. Ankle lock. You can also do an ankle lock and and after you break the ankle so it's come here break the ankle he's still fighting you and then you weaken him a little then go for the arm okay come back over here you broke the ankle step through see how i'm doing you do it again we have the ankle we express her go this way please sir got our knee here and here okay weaken a little bit give him a shot in the groin kick through see what i'm doing this hand comes through here look what we got now another knee lock okay and then from there we can start it all over again look where I'm going back to isn't that interesting starting it all over again start the whole series over again and that's part of the combo we'll do some more in the next part Okay, now all those variations, those weren't preset before I came here. What I did is, I twice told Tommy to do something just to make it interesting. But normally, you move. If I do it on Tommy, I do it on everybody I do it, it's going to be different. I'm going with his flow, I'm going with his body, okay? Um, it's kind of a Jukendo flow exercise or Aikido. I just go with it. I don't force the issue, all right? Um, let's say Tommy is down. I'm going to show a slight variation. Get down, please, Tommy. Face this way, please, sir. On your stomach, yes. Okay. Now, we were in, in this situation. Okay, remember, we were here. Okay, remember. This one was done before. This works. This is really good. Um, this works on Tommy, and he's, he's only 25 pounds every night. 20, 25 pounds. This works really good on someone 250 to 300 up because the, the arm is less flexible. Okay. Now, someone who's flexible, remember, we do this. See what I'm doing? And see my pelvis? And then we do it downward too be careful downward now we went next to here remember and this is how I brought him towards his back okay a lot of times especially a wrestler okay all my kids in wrestling what they're gonna do is they're gonna move their arm back here okay see how they move the arm back now from this position we can do a couple of things this is a variation of the combo we can come to here okay see this put pressure grab his chin we can reach over here, see this? We got a double whammy. Okay. We can move the arm in this position. Okay, but I'm gonna put it here so I don't hurt Tommy. And he reaches back here, and we can go this. 
See what I'm doing? Again, don't do this with the arm here. Now, this is what I want to do. Let's put your eyes here or try to suck them, or he tries to elbow you. But don't put the arm here. You're going to break it. Go here and bring them back towards you. Okay. And a lot of other people will do, especially a wrestler, you'll get in this position. Go to your knees, please, a little bit. They'll come up. And what they're going to try to do, let's move back a little bit. I work out with my, my, my wrestlers, and I know, you know, I'm so used to what they do. They, they'll bend their arm back here, and most guys will just get them here and nail them, work on them, okay? But like the real big heavyweight type guys, what he's going to do, he's going to try to roll out of it. Roll out of it, Tommy. To get to here, straight ahead, please. To get to here, they're going to turn into you, okay? That's what a wrestler's going to try to do, okay? Or go to a base, come to his base. Remember, the, we, we dealt with that in a previous um, tape. So from this position here, we're going to have uh, different things we can do from it. As he rolls, roll. Let him roll. Catch the leg. Come this way, please. Catch the leg. Go sideways here so you can see. Catch the leg here. Work the ankle towards you. This knee. See the knee? Bring the knee here. Bring the leg here. Go to a leg lock. Ankle. Okay. Turn him. Remember this? See where I'm at right here? Okay. Again, we'll do it again from the beginning. You're getting the idea. The idea is don't think one hold. Just like before when I used to take karate, it's all one punch, one kill. Well, unless you're superhuman strong and you're fighting a small person, that's not going to work. The combination. Think of this like a... Uh, Kempo, Ed Parker, Kempo, Karate combination where they just multiple attacks, boom, 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 okay? We're doing the same kind of philosophy. Could lie down, please? And again, I'm a small person and I'm slim, so I go for tons of combinations, and whatever is given to me is what I'm going to take. Okay, he, he comes up, he comes up to like a base, okay? Boom, to get out, okay? Now, some of my own size, you know, I can hold him. But he's a big, strong guy. Watch, he's going to roll. Don't try to stop the leg. Catch it. Then have his hips, the strongest part of his body, his hips are going to bring you forward. You might land forward. Back up, Tommy, please. Keep going, please. This has never happened to me, okay? I mean, most of all, that's strong. He might come, so you're, he might bring you all the way flat. No problem. See his knee? Right, right across his knee. And go this way. I've never had anyone able to be that strong. Okay, so he rolls. Catch the leg. Okay. Get down, please. I'm sorry. Lift your back up. Catch the leg. Shoot your knee over. Boom. Come to here. And the combination will start again, okay? Okay, look. I think there's about 500 submission locks in sports sambo. There might be up to 600 submission locks in combat sambo. The thing is, you know, I, I, the first time I started to tell me two ankle locks, well, you know, he didn't teach me ankle locks for, for a little while later, a couple weeks later. I went back, you know, we were doing other things in between. And we went to ankle locks, I did six ankle locks. I learned two, using my mind, learned a lot more. Uh, you know, I might have showed Tommy 50 submission holes. He'll come in, like this morning, and said, hey, hey, Tony, look, there's a new lock. Once you get the idea of locks, once you understand how to break something and you work with somebody's body carefully, things will begin to flow. Things will begin to flow, okay? So use your own brain, use your own mind, and make things flow. Okay, Tommy's down, please. Get down, please. On your, on your stomach. This is all very logical. Okay. We're in this position again. Okay, he puts his arm down. Okay, remember, he's going to roll. He comes up to his base, and he rolls. Okay, you didn't, you weren't able to catch the leg. No problem. Okay, the arm is here, right? He's going to try to turn into you now. Okay, as soon, as soon as you lose the leg and he's in midair, grab this arm and pull, and bring this over here. Come on, side, sideways, please. This is not the best lock in the world, but this is like you blew it, and do it from here. Okay? Okay, let's, let's, Start again from the, um, from the front, please. I mean, go, yes, I'm sorry. There you go. You're good. good job. Fly flat, please, sir. Okay. So again, 
A good grappler is going to put his arm back. Most people your size, you can work them here, you know? Work them here, work them here. Sit up. Another thing is, you know, he might straighten his leg. You could always hook it here. Very dangerous, okay? And then he comes back. All right. He goes to roll. You know, you're, you're caught sleeping, and his leg is passed. Oh, no, you can't get the leg. Bring this foot up. Give him a smack. Pull the arm. See the arm? Pull it towards you quickly. Bring this over here. Excuse me. Put it his head. Arm bar this way. Now, he is, if this is a tough arm bar to get. You can also do, if his wrist is bent this way, wrist lock. Wrist lock. He rolls towards you. You're in serious trouble now, okay? See how he's coming up towards you? Let's face this way. Put your legs that way, please, sir. Okay, he rolls towards you. Okay? Grab here, put your knee in his temple, and start yeah. to squeeze. Okay? Does that see what I'm doing? Knee in the temple, squeeze. He lets his arm out. Here. This, he's probably going to pop his head out. Pop your head out. Fine, but then at least you're out of trouble. Okay? But try to get the philosophy of this. Don't think, Tommy, please stand up. Don't think, he throws a punch. Hey hey no. Okay, he throws a punch. Right? You know, just, just as you do in your stand-up fighting, okay? Um, he throws a punch. Hit him, boom. Knee him, boom. Headbutt. Twist. You know, all the different things. Twist, please go to the ground. Twist to the ground. Eye poke. Groin, right? Just like you would do in your karate street fighting. Just like you throw combinations, throw a combination with locks. And also, I didn't throw strikes in those combinations because I don't want to hurt him. I mean, I don't want to go too aggro here and, and hurt somebody. But just as you're doing your grappling, you know, um, Tommy, get down, please. You know, when I'm over here like this, let's say, okay, here, breaking his leg, I could be hitting him. Okay? When I'm over here, come this way, please. When I'm over here breaking his arm, I can hit. Wham! Wham! Punch! Chop! You know, the idea of a lot of strikes, well, I'll bite him. If I do this fast, excuse me, he's not biting anything unless he's going to bite with a broken arm. Okay? Um, get down, please. So, you can poke eyes. And let me explain why I keep my legs like this. Tommy's going to get me in an arm lock. Okay? Go ahead, Tommy, please. Over here. Tommy's going to get me in an arm lock. He's going to cross his ankles. Okay, now, you all are going to believe this, but I have a friend of mine, Lesky, Alexei Chizurinsky. He is so strong, he will grab here and, and make you submit. I can't do that. I mean, he's being nice. Okay? He's here. You'll cross your ankles. And he is so strong. You know, like I do a single ankle lock, he'll double ankle lock your ankles. That's how strong he is. You know, the guy bends steel. But what I'm saying is, if I get this lock on Alexi, put your feet down. I'm okay. Put over here, please. If I can start his arm. If I'm here, I'm okay. Okay? But if I cross my ankles, he will do that to me. And there are people out there that strong. For us mere humans, grab my arm, please. Once your arm is here, this is bad. First, I can bite him. It's very easy to bite him, okay? But what you need to do is move your hips this way. See what I'm doing? Move my hips this way. Everyone watch. See? Same time, push his ankles. Figure for the ankles. If he keeps them crossed, great. See how I'm for the ankles? And then use your hips to make him submit. Go. Okay, see ya? Now, let's say he's super flexible. Like my 90 pound wife. And I can't make him submit, but I'll tell you what, it stops this arm bar. Watch what I do. I grab here. It stops the arm bar. Roll him. Okay, it's hurting, right? And look where, look where we're at, okay? Do you understand? So, um, work with these different techniques, experiment. Look at your own art. If you're a half ketoist, see some of the things you do in half keto. I bet you can put them in with Sambo. If you're a karate stylist, any style, Sambo mixes as well. Use your combination. If you're a flowing fighter, use, if, you, if, you, uh, if you're a kicker, kick, then do a takedown. Um, the kicks you can do standing up, you can do on the ground. 
all the dirty stuff you know on your feet, you can do on the ground. Think, be open-minded, and moreover, don't think one lock, one break. Um, I'm not trying to tell war stories, but I've been in combat. I know a man who got his arm blown off. He cauterized it, put his friend on his shoulder, and he walked out. That made a lifelong impression on me. The idea that I'm going to break someone's arm and it might stop the fight isn't going to work. I work with SWAT cops. They told me some guy in crack cocaine got shot a couple times and still stabbed the person. You need to think combinations. Different between sports samba, different between no holds barred tournaments, different between the street, street and war. Remember, sport, sambo, judo is rough, but you can tap out. No holds barred, you can still tap out. In the street, you might beat some guy in a no holds barred tournament because you broke his arm or the referee stops it. In the street, you might get a broken arm and keep fighting. I got broken shoulder, he knows. Broke my shoulder, tore my ligaments, I'm deaf in my right ear, had a concussion, I went three and a half days like that. No shoulder, no knee, I went three and a half days like that. If I was in a samba tournament or a no holds bar tournament, someone puts me in a knee lock, I'm going to tap. I couldn't tap, I had to keep fighting because I don't want to die. So please, I don't want to be gross or anything like that, but please don't think one lock. You're in a tournament, one lock's fine. You're in some sort of ego macho, I can beat you up stuff, that's fine. But if someone's really trying to hurt you, if someone's trying to hurt my family, I'm not going to stop with a broken arm because in combat I didn't stop with a broken shoulder and a broken knee. I went three and a half days. So think combinations, think combinations, think, don't think one lock, one kill, one blow, one kill. Thank you. You roll back, don't roll back this, go flat, because you'll break his arm, go flat. Send it, go back.
I'm Rick Dackery. Who is the back? Thank you very much for buying and watching this tape. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really love Combat Sambo, and I hope you do too. Please be aware that this is not the ends of all. You need to find other instructors. All grappling systems are effective. My wrestlers can fight. The judoists I work with can fight. The karate people I work with can fight. Buy other videos. Train. Uh, priority, always have safety. Please be very careful. These techniques are really dangerous. Practice them with safety first in mind and, hap and uh, have an open mind and also make sure that martial arts not only make you a better fighter but a better person.